Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to review two European beers. Spaten Premium Lager is from Bavaria. Now, in case you don't know where Bavaria is, it's in Germany. Um, Munich is the capital of Bavaria. And there are a number of breweries in Munich. And a lot of good beers come from there. Munich is where they have an annual Oktoberfest, which is their annual festival of beer. And Spaten is one of the big breweries in Munich. I also have this beer. Pilsner Urquell, if that's the correct way to pronounce it, I'm not sure. U-R-Q-U-E-L-L. This is a Czech Pilsner. And uh, it's uh, very similar to the spot as best as I can do. So let's see how they stack up side by side. Okay. It looks like the Czech Pilsner might be a little darker color wise. I don't see many bubbles coming up in either one. Not much of a head on either one either. Not really much of an aroma there. I wonder if I'm coming down with something. I don't smell anything. This one has a bit of a more detectable odor to it. Now the thing with these beers are is they have malt, you know, malted barley. One of the ingredients of beer is malted barley. You have malted barley, you have hops, yeast, the thing is with Miller, Budweiser, Coors, is instead of malted barley, they use adjuncts. That's why they call them adjunct lagers. Adjuncts are a replacement for the malted barley, and, and the common adjuncts are corn and rice. Rice and Budweiser, corn and Coors and Miller. So with these beers, you're going to get a bit more of a malty flavor than you will with Budweiser and Miller. So let's see how they taste. Still don't really smell anything. It's smooth. Very smooth, has a decent flavor. Not a bad bite when you first, when it first hits your mouth. You know how it would. Put that on your tongue, you take a slurp, and you get that carbonated bite. And you get that a little bit with there. So let's try this one. You get more of a bite with this one. This one has a little bit stronger flavor. The flavors between the two, it's really difficult to tell them apart. I mean, it's kind of like saying I have a chocolate candy bar here and another chocolate candy bar here. Well, they both taste like chocolate, but one might be stronger chocolate than the other. So the flavors are the same, but one has more of that flavor than the other. And, and that's the case with these two, it seems to me. It seems to me the flavor is the same between these two beers, but this, this one has a bit more flavor of that flavor, and that flavor is a bit of malt and hops for a typical lager or pilsner. This beer has more of a bite from carbonation maybe, but you really can't tell based on the on the head or the bubbles which beer has more carbonation. 
Oh. Yeah, that's got a, a good carbonated bite to it. <clears throat> Smoother, but more flavor. Stronger flavor. So, let's try it with some cheese. Here I have some Kasichka sear, or sear Kasichka from Russia. Basically, it's pigtail cheese. It's garlicky, it's salty, smoky, very good. So I'll take this and wash it down with some beer. The spot washes it down pretty well. Which one do I like better? Well, with or without the cheese, it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. I like this one for the bite, this one for the extra flavor, so it really depends on, on my mood. I really can't say which one that I would prefer to drink all the time. I haven't even checked to see what the uh, ABV is on, on this. You know, I can't really even see it. Let's see. 5.2. 4.4. So this is a pretty weak beer, actually. I guess so, if it had to come down to it, I would choose to drink the spot and simply because it has more alcohol per volume. Taste-wise, they're pretty much the same. More carbonation, a bit stronger flavor, but uh, this one wins on alcohol content. So you don't have to drink as much to get a decent buzz. Well, that's it. I'm gonna choose.